Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626195 here for more Earthbound. In the last part, we took down the police and we gained access to Tucson. I wonder if we still have our map. Yes, we do. See? To Tucson, down there in the bottom. So in this part, we're gonna head to Tucson. Tucson, Arizona? Wait, is it... What is that town that's in Arizona that's kind of like Tucson, except it's different? Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The map is pretty useful. If you... Oh, there's some bugs running away from us down here. Oh, how isn't that inconvenient? Uh, isn't that convenient, not inconvenient? Alrighty, we have this house here, and looks like there's mice living here. This is weird guy here, too. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. That's actually, uh, supposed to be, um... It's supposed to be chain. I'm taking liberty of living in the mice's home and mooching off of them. Mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind and boy, they are fast. I really love these guys. Yeah, you see, you know, mice usually live in a human's house and mooch off of them. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Sure, he's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. That's got the exit mouse. It's kind of like an escape rope in uh, the Pokemon games such that stuff like that there's some stuff running away from us over there oh but down here we have some new enemies what are these things these are rambling evil mushrooms they have have 60 ex they have 60 hp they can bash just like any other enemy to do low level damage or they can scatter spores which can mushroomize which is not too good attacking 12 damage and attacking 12 damage, I see. And it dodged. <laughs> Ness, you missed a mushroom. How is that? Smash! You got smashed by a mushroom, Ness. What the heck? Okay, you missed. And they missed! Yay! Finally, something towards Ness is being good. <laughs> Why can't we attack these mushrooms? There, stop moving. Woohoo. There we go. So I could have sworn we were faster than a mushroom. I guess not. Attack just missed. 52 damage. And it stopped moving. Yay, I won. And got 190 experience. Wow. That was pretty good. We have an item down here. There's a hamburger inside. Ness takes the hamburger. What do we have as in goods? Not too good. Let's eat this cookie. I got 6 HP. Yay. Very measly amount of HP that I got. But oh well. I need to despawn some of these. See if I can... No, you didn't despawn. Come on, despawn. Come on, yes I de Spawn the mushroom. So boy, the mushrooms are gone. Ah, mushroom! <laughs> <laughs> they came out of nowhere. Hi, Mushroom. How's it going? There. Die! It is pretty cool whenever these guys mushroomize you, though. I, I wonder if hopefully I can show that off sometime. But not right now. Because I haven't done it yet. Alrighty, let's enter. Welcome to Tucson, guys. There's a mole over here. What's this mole say? I'm not an enemy. I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish from your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Good call. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Antoids and cohorts. Well, this calls for PSI rockin', because this is a bunch of enemies. I don't like ants. The ants are pretty... mean. They don't like... Her. Yay! We killed everything! I won! When are we gonna... Ah, 169! That's funny. When are we gonna get a level up here? Hopefully soon. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Sure. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There's the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you'll find the peaceful West Valley. The other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Uh, well, tee I don't know anything else. <laughs> uh, no problem here. Can't read that. 
What's this say? Tucson, we got this name because we weren't first. Uh, yeah, in the, uh, Japanese version it says, uh, what does it say? This is the second town, so it's called Tucson. Did you notice? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. As you can see, the hospital is, says hospital, and it usually has the little cross in the Japanese version. Uh, in the Japanese version, it said DEPT instead of departments, like DEPT store, department store. The O's in food have been changed, and THREED is called THREEK. Yeah. Alrighty. So, now, let's go ahead and... Da 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 and let's speak. This is a cycle shop. Puncture. Uh, get it? It's a pun. This guy's a punk. And puncture is when you ever get tires, you get tire punctures. Uh, it has the uh, same thing. Uh, the uh, store is called Panku, meaning both flat tire and punk. Bicycles are so much fun and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Sure. Both of you, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Sure. I already like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. And Ness got the bike. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. No, you can't ride a bike with anything following you. Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. Don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. <laughs> nice. See, let's go ahead and go to our goods and get on the bicycle. Use. Ness rode the bicycle. Oh, whoops. I did that to advance. Ride bike. There we go. Ness rode a bicycle. See? See, we got hotel, the bike shop. See, look how fast we're going around. There's Mr. T in front of the department store. Wow, I got ran over by a truck. There's the Chaos Theater. Oh, can't fit through there. Gotta go on the street. Up here, if we go over here, is the, uh... The, Hos the Tucson Hospital, of course, has the, uh... Used to have the Red Cross over there. The word Tucson used to match up with the starting word of hospital there, but it was changed. Change it, it did. Uh, sign here says Runaway 5. Uh, Runaway 5 in the Japanese version is actually uh, Tonzura Brothers, which stands for the uh, Runaway Brothers. That's got off the bike. Uh, we may be popular, but that girl who lives at the a house at the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. We, that's right, we are the 108 5. We're popular, but not rich. We've been cheated by this theater and really deep in debt. Oh boy, debt. You play some sports if you do, that's fine by us. Susan Athletic Committee. Interesting. We have a giant line in front of the theater. I'm starting a line here. I want to, a ticket. I want a ticket for today's show, but I might not get it. I love standing in a queek. Uh. No, 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 no. A queue. Not Queeg. <laughs> a Q. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. And the Japanese version, she likes lines and pot stickers, which have two uh, Japanese words that start with G. If I had some connections, I could waltz right then, but I'm just a regular Joe. Ah, Joe. I know Joe. Joe's in my Boy Scout troop. Hi, Mr. T. How's it going? I uh, subs. So, uh, I saw some weird guy. That's a terrible Mr. T voice. I was gonna stop. I saw some weird guy, weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. I don't know who that guy was following Paula, but he seemed pretty creepy. I pity the fool who followed Paula. I don't know. I'm not a good Mr. T impersonator. If you didn't check, if you didn't know. Alrighty. Let's see. Alrighty. There's a uh, somebody down here. Do you want to buy a ticket for the Runaway Five show? Uh. 
No, I mistook you for a Uh, sure. Main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Would that be okay? Oh, wait, the box seats are sold out. Sold out a long time ago. Oops, my mistake. Bot seats are the most popular. Yeah, let's see. Uh, main floor are A seats. Balcony is B seats. Box seats are S seats. In the Japanese version, of course. Would you like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. Yeah, the lady in the basement, uh, in the... But uh, ev everyone returns stuff, but uh, like uh, in the, r the original Mother, you can only do returns on the bottom floor. Welcome to the department store, guys. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently. My mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings should be gone before you know it. Yeah, that's a guy telling you how to cle cure homesickness. What is with today? I cannot talk. Gosh. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> <coughs> oh, cough. Sorry. <coughs> oh, lady. I heard a meteorite crash on my hilltop new one night. That must have been exciting. Oh, boy. Exciting. I think that my grandchild is so than He's a famous inventor. He lives here in Paul. People call him the Orange Kid. He's really popular with the girls because he's groovy. I don't know. There's a burger shop here selling expensive food. There's a bakery here also selling expensive food. Yum, yum. Mm, I'm eating a skip sandwich. Makes you want to start skipping. I saw an ad on, I saw it on a TV ad and just had to try one. I bet I can really move after eating this. Yep. They make you go faster. That's the sure thing. Hmm, excuse me. I ought to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Ha! <laughs> That's setting up something funny later. There's more arcade machines in here. Happy Happy Village is getting me more and more blue. Do you get it? Uh, no. It's an ATM machine up here. That teddy bear they sell over there, I heard it helps it in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Yeah, he's actually right. And the word shop was changed from the word drug in the Japanese version for some reason. The Mac Teller machine, please extra transaction. Let's withdraw all of our money. All $1,216 worth of it. Yeah, I have money now. Let's buy stuff. Hi, can I help you? So, what are you going to buy? Yeah, so you can buy a cold remedy or a teddy bear. Teddy bears are pretty useful. Anything I do for you? Are you here to say hi? What? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, yes, I like this is the uh, weapons guy. Good. Uh, no, don't want this thing shot. Cheap race with baseball cap ribbon. I already have all this stuff. I don't need anything from you. There's a fry pan, though. I don't know what that is, so... Please come again. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a teddy bear. It'll help us out. Teddy bear, bye. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thanks so much. Alright, this isn't the only place you can go shopping in town, though. There is a, um... Uh, the Berglund Park, like the, uh, one lady, the inter that bear is all jittery there, is all on the steps of the, uh, uh, shoot, escalator. Escalators, escalators, escalators! Eels! I see that you're young, but have had some adventures. I think that Paula would be a good friend for you. Ooh, maybe she is calling us in our dreams for some strange reason. Anyway, let's head down to the, uh, there's a dog down here. Kid or is a kidnapping, believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. Go down to Berglund Park. There's a dude. Berglund Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff here. See, Berglund Park, one of the biggest markets you'll ever find. Now, in Berglund Park. Actually, it's called Burglar Park. Uh, uh, where's it at? Uh, Nasuto Park, which stands for Burglar in English. The boss of Berglund Park has ever tried. He's got... Ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy, I see. Everybody is always watching over Berglund Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Let's see. This is a uh, small shop area here. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, a flies land on them, in my opinion. It makes them taste even better. What would you like? This guy sells food. So there's another place to buy food. There's a red cross here that wasn't taken out for some odd reason. This lady sells bananas for five dollars. Well, when you went to eat bananas, I'll be here selling them. Nice lady. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? No, you think it's not? Do you think it's hot? Look, I didn't steal it. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Let's see, there's a... Hey, Mon, you've got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk, sure. So what would you like, Mon? Uh, this guy is selling a copper bracelet, which is flashing for Ness, so it's good for us. 
so I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Thank you, Mon. Do you want to equip that here, then? That's a defense change from 18 to 23. Would you like... Would you be liking me to buy your cheap bracelet for 49 bucks? Sure. Thanks a lot, Mon. Is there anything else you need, Mon? Uh, nah. Take care, Mon. Thanks. Should make it, uh, I shall fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg. Please, no! Hey, well, you won't get through your teen years without at least one egg. Please buy this beautiful egg. Please, no! Okay, but your teen years will be ruined just because you didn't buy an egg. Well, this is one of my... I'm not... I'm 17 already. I don't have that many teen years left. <laughs> Makes me feel good just to sit and look at my pots. I like pots. But I, re I really want to shop... What I really want is the tool sh shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. Interesting. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What would you, what would you like? Yeah, you see, in Earthbound, there's this type of uh, thing where uh, you have you have one of these items here, and you eat a food item, it'll automatically put the uh, little flavoring thing on top of it, and it'll either add a bit, it'll add a bit of recovery, depending on if it's a good combination or not. It'll add more or less. Came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes the dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. Kind of matches the food. You will get more power than if you eat a food item plain. See, look, this side lady knows everything. Of course, Evertrade isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. I see. There's another Mr. T in here. Wow. Oh, uh, like that one. Uh, get out of my way. Thank you. Like he, this guy was saying, this guy, if you talk to him, he said, I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. Sure. If you want to sell something, use this for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. See, look. You go to your goods, and you go ahead and use the for sale sign. The customer is heading this way. And you walk, and a customer comes by. <laughs> I ran here as fast as I could. I'm plum tuckered out. What have you got for sale? And he'll buy whatever you offer up, but he won't buy everything, because, see, look, I can offer up the soundstone. And be like, oh, jumping Jessel Flat. I don't think you can buy that. What else can you sell me? Uh, not much of anything. I'll say it ain't so, and after I ran here as fast as I could. And he'll leave. Makes me feel good just sit and look at my pots. And now he won't say anything about the for sale sign. Oh boy. Yay. Because <laughs> we bought the for sale sign. Anyway, let's see what's next on my list of stuff to do. Let's go ahead and uh, search around real quick. Uh, there are some enemies that I want to uh, fight here in uh, Tucson just to show them off real quick if I can get any of them to spawn. Sometimes they don't like spawning for some reason. They usually spawn more often than not near the uh, Berkland Park area. There is a uh, quicker way to get to. Uh, what the? Hey, there's a magic butterfly down there in case you needed it. Just to, just to forewarn you, magic butterfly. <laughs> Let's see. Are there any enemies of the sorts down here? Wow, there are no enemies, like, spawning at all. What is this madness? I don't even know what is going on. Well, anyway, if I ever run into them, I'll let you know. There's a, it's, there's this, this random areas that you can walk in that don't make much sense of the sort. Anyway, I'll go ahead and cut and see if I can find any enemy. You know what? Actually, I think, um... This is a pr this is pretty good for a p oh wait 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 enemies oh no that's a back attack oh just runaway dogs I see but why were they following me they're just regular runaway dogs see they just do one damage see look the teddy they're attacking the teddy bear see these these enemies they aren't new and neither is that other guy either what am I saying it's just a regular cop darn it. Eight experience, see? See, that's just a cop. The, remember the uh, guys that we fought in the uh, one at police station? Yeah, they, they spawned as enemies here too, so get used to that. 
Lady in here. No problem. No, I'm gonna speak. Daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name. Vien or s oh, Vin something. She's working hard. <laughs> Odd. I think she'll, uh, that'll come back as a uh, reference later on in the, um, in the, in the game. But not right now, because there's nothing to be referenced. Anyway, I think that's about it for this part of Earthbound. And in the next part, we will probably get into some fighting some enemies here in uh, Tucson. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this part of Earthbound. And... Oh, let me... Oh, darn it. I hate when that happens. I want to go save. There we go. Next pick up the receiver. Let's call that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.